Hello and welcome to another step-by-step -step how to tie tutorial video. This is Murray's Helgermite Articulated. This is tied up using a Moonlit ML091. This is a size 2. This is one of their tube fly hooks just came out. Up front we have a 7 8 inch. It's a medium fish joint by Fly Tires Dungeon. We are also using some painted lead eyes. These are medium red. For a tying thread, I am using a flat waxed thread. This is a 140 Danville's Flymasters Plus. In the hook buried in there, we have a little bit of lead weight. We have a little bit of uh, 0.035 lead wire. The tail section is black ostrich hurl combined using a little bit of black crystal flash. The body consists of peacock hurl and a little bit of black neck hackle. Up front we also do have a couple of rubber legs. These are just a standard round medium rubber legs. I believe that's it. Oh, we also have a uh, brassy sized copper wire holding all that hackle down, giving us a little bit of added insurance policy. Almost forgot that. All right, so let's go ahead and remove our sample and we can begin by securing our hook in the vise. And like all good flies, this will begin with a single wrap of thread. And we'll start that just behind the eye of the hook. A couple tight locking wraps and we can trim off that tag end. Okay, first things first, we're going to add our lead weight. And we're going to encourage this fly to ride hook side up. And by doing this, by tying our lead to just the top portion of the shank of the hook opposed to wrapping it, that's going to give us a little keel. It's going to give us a little encouragement for this to ride hook side up. So we'll just take a quick moment, secure this down on the top side of the hook. It doesn't take much. We're just introducing a little bit of added weight onto that top side. Next, we're going to trim off some black ostrich. And I'm going for a quite sizable clump. This is a relatively big fly, and I don't want to be too shy with the, the amount of bulk we have for our tail. And we're going to stick that out quite a little, quite far. Seems a little misproportionate for the hook, which it is. But once we get those fish joints, that fish joint tied in um, in front, leading this hook, it all comes together. So once this ostrich is secured, we can come in with our black crystal flash. And I like to nip the corner of my bag. That way I can just isolate one, two, three, four strands that we're going to use. I'll give that a trim. And we'll take these four strands, fold them over, make eight multiply by dividing all right we'll take these eight strands and we're going to tie them in on either side of the hook we'll start with the near a couple locking wraps running the thread forward bringing it back and now we can fold over the crystal flash to the far side of the fly very good all right, let's go ahead and get our black brassy sized wire. We're gonna tie that in next. We're gonna just tie that in the full length of the hook. Really secure that down from the front to the back. And we'll set that off to the side. Go about midway up. We'll grab our peacock curl. We're just going to go ahead and just pluck out one, two, three, four, five strands or so. That's a little bit too much. Let's go ahead and 
isolate that down just a little bit more. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four strands. Just what we need. I'm gonna tie that in by the tips facing the back end. Oh, one broke off. Make sure it gets in there. Join your friends. And we'll tie this peacock in. Kind of rip off those tips. And now we can come in with our neck hackle. Nice big buggy neck hackle. Don't have too much length to conquer, so we'll just go ahead and do our high and tight. Trimming off a little stump on either side. And we can tie that in. And continuing our thread wraps forward to the eye of the hook. This probably looks quite similar to a woolly bugger thus far. And that's because fundamentally that's essentially what we're tying. But just slightly different ingredients. All right, we'll take touching wraps with this peacock curl, bring it from the rear to the front, as we would a chenille or any other body wrappings. And when we get to the eye of the hook, we'll go ahead and secure that down with a few locking wraps. And we can go ahead and trim off our excess. Next, at this point, it's hackle time. We can go ahead and grab our hackle by the hackle pliers by the end of the hackle. And we're gonna palmer this forward. We're gonna do one full wrap at the rear. And we'll do an evenly open spaced palmer working this forward. Nice, big, and buggy. That's what I want here. All right, up to the eye of the hook. We'll secure this down. One, two, three. We'll release those hackle pliers and we'll just give that a nice clean trim. Clean that up just a little bit and now we can come through with our wire. Easy peasy. All right, once again, we're gonna do one full wrap at the rear. And then we're just gonna take a nice even open spiral, working this wire through that hackle, securing it furthermore to increase the longevity. I went with the black wire just so it could really camouflage in there and really just kind of disappear. For me, the the wire has a mechanical purpose opposed to an aesthetics look pretty purpose for my purpose all right we'll give that wire a little trim a couple more turns up front clean that eye and we'll come in with our whip finish one two three And we'll give that a nice close trim. All right, a little dab of glue. -ia. We're going to come in with a little bit of head cement. One little drop and let that soak into the thread. Perfect. All right, next we got to build the second half of this fly. We're going to use this uh, 7 8 fish joint. And this is how I like to attach it. I'm just going to pop it up because I'm going to use that section right there the little v to house my dumbbell eye and normally you would tie that maybe down but i want this to ride hook side up so by doing that i'm going to encourage it to ride hook side up all right i'm going to come in with a little magnet and that's just going to help hold my back half of my fly out of the way all right, first things first, once again, let's cast on our thread. We'll just take a few wraps. And we're just gonna take a minute and do some figure eights around these two posts up front. And this will help prevent them from 
twitching and going side by side. Just take an extra minute, really build that up underneath there. Excellent. All right, we're going to build a little thread base, working our way from the front to the rear. I really don't want to add too much tension, an extravagant amount of tension yet. Because I want to come in with a little bit of head cement here, and this will just kind of help secure and beef everything up. Just wet that down, let it soak into the thread. There we go. Work our thread forward into our little V. Excellent. All right, at this point, let's go ahead and tie in our eyes. I'll take a half a wrap right over the dumbbell, draw it towards the hook or the hook shank here, the fish joint. And we'll just take a few minutes securing this down, taking some cross wraps. And again, I just wanna add just a little bit insurance policy, just a little dab of glue in here, work it into the thread. And that keeps everything nice and extra tight. We really want this to, to last in the water. Take a few more cross wraps this direction, a few more in this direction. Can't go too tight on this. Cause you know where we want these eyes to go? Nowhere, that's where. All right. A little overkill, but that didn't hurt nobody. All right, we're gonna come in with a little bit of wire. We're essentially gonna repeat what we did in back up front. Oh, before we do our wire, we have to add in our little rubber legs. I got one strand. I'm gonna fold that in half. Multiply by dividing. And that piece, we're gonna fold that in half once more all right so now we got two little quarter lengths of rubber legs i'm going to tie this in on the near side of the hook under the dumbbell eye about midway go underneath that dumbbell eye bring that rubber leg forward and there we go All right, let's go ahead and cheat this up along the angle of the shank because this is going to end up riding hook side up. So this is actually the bottom. So we want our leg to angle up, which is down. Repeat the process on the other side. Make sure your lengths are even. And secure that in front of the dumbbell eye. Nice and even with its friend up front. Bump it out just a little bit with some thread wraps up front. I like it. All right, I'm going to run this along the back side, along that same angle as that fish joint all the way to the back end. Perfect. Now we can come in with our black wire. We're just going to tie that in on the side. All right, again, we're gonna come in with some 
Ost or a peacock curl now. And I have one, two, three, four strands, and the four strands is very specific at this point. And we will see why here in just a moment. Tie these in. Run them to the back end. Break off the tips. And we can get one more neck hackle ready. Again, I'm going big and buggy on this. Saddle hackle just won't work. Maybe a schloppen, that might work. But in my case right here, right now, we are using a neck hackle. I'll go ahead and tie that in. We'll park our thread just behind the dumbbell eyes. We can palmer on our peacock curl now, which is kind of interesting because we don't have the tip of the hook directly underneath the vise, which you're usually spending a little extra time and concern on trying not to hit our neck. But we'll just palmer on our peacock to just behind those dumbbell eyes. And then what I'm going to do is take half of the dumbbell or half of the peacock, two strands, and I'm going to go forward and around the eye. And that's just going to get the whole front piece covered. We'll do the same on the other side. And we can come through and secure everything down nice and tight behind that dumbbell eye. All right, check your watches again. It's, you guessed it, it's hackle time. All right, we'll bring our hackle forward. Again, I'm gonna do a nice one full turn at the rear and a couple of turns bringing this forward. Giving us a nice buggy Halgermite. A couple of turns securing that down. And just to keep things clean, let's go ahead and trim off the tip. All right, one last time, we'll take our wire. I'm trying to get this right behind both of those rubber legs. This will help protect that front part of that hook, hook eye from wearing into the peacock curl. All right, we'll just take a couple of wraps, bringing the wire forward. Again, we're gonna park that right behind the eyes. Give that a nice close trim. All right, we'll bump our thread forward just in front of the eye, just behind the eye of the shank. And we'll come in with a whip finish. One. Oh, we'll do that again. All right, here we go. A one, a two, a three. Three turns on the whip finish. Got our nice little buggy legs sticking weird out front. We'll give that a nice close trim and a little dab of glue ya right up front securing our thread wraps that's all we need even up the legs and i like it Maybe just a little bit shorter there we go all right let's go ahead and grab our hackle pliers and we can move the hook forward there you have it. 
That is Murray's Helgramite. Articulated on a size 2 ML091. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. And with this one, tight lines.